Hi there, this is Jennifer with Brome Fields and today we're going to be working on the seed and slip stitch rib. I have only done two repeats and now I know why I usually do three because three looks much better. It gives you a better representation. Um, it's called the, the this, this is the slip stitch here and here is the seed stitch in between here and we're going to be alternating. So there's one repeat and two repeats. So you want to cast on in multiples of six and it is a two row repeat. So this one is really easy. So row one is your front side of your work and you're going to purl the first stitch and then we're going to put the yarn in the back and we're going to slip this stitch purl wise. So if we were going to slip it knit wise, we would go in this way and slip it, but we're not. We're just going to slip it purl wise. And then we're going to bring the yarn back into the front to purl one, knit one, and we're going to repeat that purl one, knit one. And then we're going to start over from the beginning. So we're going to purl one, yarn back, slip one purl wise, yarn front, purl, knit, purl, knit. And that is the front side of your work. And then on the back side, it's even easier. So we're going to knit the first stitch, which is not included in the repeat. We're going to repeat purl one, knit two until we get to the last two stitches. So we're going to purl one, knit two, purl one, knit two. So we're going to purl one, knit two. And then with these last two stitches, we're just going to purl one. So on that previous row, that's where we slipped it. And that's the extra bar in the back. And it just blends right in with the other purl stitches. Purl one, knit one. So that's where that extra bar is. So this is the back side of your work. So you can see where we have two knit rows on either side of your slipped stitches. You can't really see it over here because of the edge, but that's what it'll look like in the middle of your work. So you have that extra bar right there. And on the front side, that's where those slipped stitches are. And that brings that knit stitch, really makes it pop out. So here on the back side, you can see how there are so many knit stitches in a row. This side, that slipped knit, it really, because you're only knitting that stitch every other row, you're slipping it on the opposite row. So it really makes it pop out. So that is the seed and slip stitch rib, which I really like this pattern. So I do, now that you've learned it, I'll talk a little bit more. Uh, so you know everything about the stitch, you can go do it. Now that I've done this though, if I were going to use it, I would take these, so you have these two purl rows on either side. I would take these last three stitches and bring it to the beginning here to make a match. And then I would add a border around it and I wouldn't probably do a seed stitch border. I think that would be too, um, it would blend in too much, but a garter stitch border around it would look really nice. But I just do these videos to show you how to do the stitch and then you guys can do what you want with it. I just, it's just for ideas and uh, just to get that basic, this is your repeat doing it over and over again. And then you guys can work it into a blanket or a hat or whatever and you guys have the basics uh, to get you started. So I hope you guys found uh, the video to be helpful today and thank you so much for watching.